Hello everyone, my name is Ottavia Di Pasquale and I'm a postdoctoral research scientist at King's College London. My research is focused on the development and application of analytical methods to functional MRI data, mainly in the context of drug studies. Understanding the link between neurochemical changes and brain function is crucial to uncover the mechanisms underlying the effects of pharmacological treatments. Over the last years, resting state functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, has been increasingly used in pharmacological applications to investigate the drug effects on brain function. But one of the main limitations of this technique is its inability to provide a molecular insight into the main effect of compounds such as medications and other drugs. In this research, we developed REACT, a novel multimodal method that exploits the molecular information from positron emission tomography imaging about the distribution density of specific receptors in the brain to enrich resting state fMRI analysis. We tested the REACT method on MDMA, a drug known for its history of recreational use. MDMA is a compound with serotonergic action, so we used a positron emission tomography atlas of five serotonin targets to better characterize the functional response of the brain to MDMA and specifically link this response to the molecular substrates. We used the data collected in a placebo control study of healthy volunteers who were administered a single dose of MDMA or placebo. 45 minutes after the administration, the plasma levels of MDMA was measured and functional MRI imaging data were collected. We compared the functional maps of placebo and MDMA and found the functional connectivity alterations induced by MDMA only in the maps enriched by the main targets of this compound, which are the 5-HT1A receptor and the serotonin transporter. We also found a correlation between the levels of the MDMA in the plasma and the functional response related to the 5-HT1A receptor. These results are particularly interesting because they provide a novel interpretation of the brain response to MDMA in light of its affinity to serotonin. With REACT, we effectively show that there is a link between the hemodynamic response of the brain to MDMA and the underlying neuroreceptor distribution, and most importantly, that it's possible to use receptor maps to enrich connectivity analysis of drug effects. Our approach defines a set of networks based on the information about the distribution of specific targets to characterize the brain response after the drug challenge. REACT can be used as a tool for exploring the effects of pharmacological manipulation of brain networks from a molecular perspective. This new approach defines the drug-specific topography of brain functional connectivity and may provide a new fingerprint to characterize novel or existing compounds and potentially give greater insight to the complex response to treatments. Thank you for listening.